I worked on the important jewels catalog for Christie's in 2014 and this was in the catalog listed as property of an elegant lady a retro sapphire <clears throat> yellow sapphire and ruby flower brooch by Van Cleef and Arpels estimated between 15 and 20 thousand dollars I don't know what they ultimately got for it but even with my employee discount, I couldn't afford it. All the jewelry was shot and scaled to absolute size in the catalog. So you can see this was about two and a half inches tall. Uh, and they always, always photographed the pieces beside a ruler. And here's my finish. So how did I get there? Well, that's the shot I began with. Masked it. It's a smart object. And I, uh, they like things sharp. So there's my smart sharpen. There's a before and after. And again, it's smart objects with smart filters are terrific because you can always go back, add more or less. Um, here was my shadow layer, which was just a soft copy of this. Put on another layer and filled with black and then adjusted to suit. This was a 20% gray. So they, the printing and the, the standard shadows they use were fairly consistent so Time Magazine would have maybe used 30% but their printing specs were different. Anyway, this was filled with a 20% gray. All right, so here are all my adjustments. One for the gold. One for the blue. And at this point, the uh, jewelry specialist uh, felt the need to be sharper, so there it goes high-pass layer. They like them really sharp. And this was adjusted for the yellows. That's what you get from an expensive camera, and that's what you get from a Photoshop Pro. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.